Did you know that your daily habits is what determines your results in life and in business? And today I wanna to share with you my top six habits that have made a huge difference to my life and my business. Welcome to Salon Boss TV, where you can find the best information, tips, advice, help and support to grow your salon business. I'm Jessica Crane and I'm business coach for salon owners and I help salon owners just like you to increase profit and to grow their business. We drop a brand new video every single Monday so make sure that you hit the bell and subscribe so that you get notified. Today we want to talk about your personal habits, your daily routine and your daily habits and how that has a huge knock-on effect to the results that you get in your business and in your life. Reviewing your habits and optimizing your behavior is the quickest way for you to get the results that you want in your life and in your business. We are all a product of our habits. So let's dive in. Today I want to share with you my top six habits that I feel have changed my life and my business. Okay, so habit number one is creating and sticking to a daily and weekly schedule. So I've done this for a few years now where I have a weekly schedule and I have all the tasks on it that I need to do. Because when you're a mom and a wife and a business owner and you know, you, you've got employees and you've just got so many people who need things from you, right? And it's easy to be reactive to tasks and to kind of just be pulled into things. But when I have my schedule and I schedule out every single task that needs to be done. It really stops me from being reactive and it helps me to plan my time so that I have enough time in my business to do the tasks that I need to do. I have enough time with my family and the care, time and attention that they need from me and equally for self-care, my friends, my you know other things that I want to do to work out, to, to feel good, to feel healthy. And by creating and sticking to a schedule, this really helps me achieve my time management in a way that I never did before. And I used to, you know, a few years ago, I'd just be reactive to tasks or constantly have a to-do list. Now my to-do list is tiny because all of the tasks that I need to do, there is time scheduled out for them in the week. So I don't need a to-do list because I follow, you know, on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I have the same schedule. So everything gets done in a timely and proactive manner rather than a reactive one. So if that's a habit that you don't have in at the moment, creating and sticking to a weekly schedule is definitely a big habit that I encourage you to inject. Habit number two is more of a mindset habit and it's being responsible for my own actions. And what I mean by this is knowing and understanding that I control my own happiness. I control the results that I get in my life, in my business, in everything that I do is in my full control. And I control my time, I control who I give it to, when I give it, how much I give of it, and I don't rely on other people to make me happy or content. And this is one thing I think a lot of people do is they hold really high expectations of other people to make them feel a certain way. And when you kind of habit that shift and you realize that you are 100% responsible for everything in your life, it really helps you to kind of take that next level of control. And you can really show up and feel confident and be your best self when you take full responsibility for yourself, for your life, for your actions, and understand that life happens for you and that you are a force creating it rather than things happen to you. And we've all heard the saying, you can't pour from an empty cup, but only you are responsible for filling your own cup first. 
And habit number three. Habit number three is one of my favorites and it's a habit that I've had in all honesty for a very, very, very long time. And I can't tell you how much gratitude I have for this personal habit. And if it's one thing you inject from this video today, I would strongly suggest this habit. And that is the power of no. And the power of saying no to people. And because what you have to realize is that self-care isn't all about relaxing baths and candles and painting your nails and feeling good. It's about having life and business boundaries and that it's okay to feel confident and unapologetic to people that you say no to. I have people ask me all the time, can you do this? Can you do that? Can you come here? Can you give this? etc etc and a lot of the time I just say no because whilst I'm saying no to one thing it gives me more time resources energy everything else to put into my business to put into my family to put into the things that I want to so habit number three is having the confidence and the power to unapologetically say no when you don't want to do something for other people and not feel that you have to. You do not have to be everything to everyone. And I think that having that power and having that confidence to say no to people and not have to give a reason to just say no, and that is okay. You know, I think as women, a lot of people worry about what people will say about us. And, you know, they'll think this of me or they'll think that of me. But really ask yourself, when you say yes to things that you want to say no to, how does that make you feel anyway? You end up doing those things very begrudgingly and, you know, you kind of feel makes you feel really negative um, and you know that that time, energy, resource, whatever could be used better in other areas. So number three is huge and it's something that I've done for a very long time and I can't recommend it enough is to have the power to say no when you don't want to do something. And habit number four is the power of meditation and visualization. Now, as a busy business owner, and I know that you'll be able to relate to this, it can sometimes feel as though your mind is just racing at 100 miles an hour. And when you get into bed, you're thinking about your children and what they've got to take to school tomorrow. And are there, is their costume ready? Have you got a pound for the school collection? And there's things at work you're thinking, have I done this job? Have I done that job? Is this going well? Is that going well? And there's so many things that just run through your mind. And running a household, you know, all these jobs that need your time and attention. And sometimes you get into bed, you lay there at night, and your mind just starts to run away with the 50,000 million jobs that you haven't done that day. And so this has really, really, really helped me in being able to really calm my mind at bedtime so that I get into that really relaxed state and fall asleep without those kind of thoughts still whirring around. And so every night before I go to bed, for even just for 10 minutes, I listen to a guided visualization or meditation and falling asleep and you know I used to have quite vivid dreams as well so I'd sometimes wake up and I'd feel just as tired as when I went to bed because I just had all these dreams and I feel like my mind just hadn't stopped but when I started using a visualization or a meditation before bed I felt as though it really helped to switch off my mind and there's loads that you can find on YouTube and find something that you really like. And I just pop headphones on and I lie in bed and I listen to it literally just before I fall asleep. And I find that what I really find, it's almost like a spa break for the mind. It's like my mind goes on a little mini break for 10, 15 minutes and it doesn't think about all the things that I need to do. And it just helps me 
really ground, relax and fall to sleep so much easier without that mind racing. We've also created a visualization tool for salon owners, which you can find on our YouTube channel just in the banner and there is a link where you can go grab it. So maybe even start with that one, start by listening to that one and just get into the flow of visualization. And you know, I'm not gonna lie to you, when I first started it, I found it really difficult to relax. But when you just kind of give it a week, give it two weeks, a month, and just once you get into the routine of it, it will become easier, I promise. And habit number five is goal setting. And every single year for the past four or five years, me and my whole family have always set goals together on New Year's Day every single year. And we have a big goals board in our kitchen um, and the kids decorate it and then they each choose three goals for the year. And it's surprising how many people never set goals. And I always think when you don't set a goal, it's like you get into your car and you don't put the sat nav on and you don't know the directions and you're just kind of driving around hoping that maybe you'll get somewhere that you like but you didn't really choose any type of destination. Whereas having a goal is like getting in the car, you put the sat nav on and you know exactly how to get from A to B. You know the roads you need to take, you know what's gonna lie ahead, you know the challenges and you're gonna be able to overcome them. So setting goals is my habit number five that I just can't recommend enough. The great thing I like about doing this with my family is that it keeps everybody accountable. So as a family unit, and you can create this for your team in the salon as well, it's great to share your goals because it brings that community and that excitement and that everybody can help each other go towards that goal. And my final habit number six, is feed your mind. A few years ago, I pretty much eradicated watching TV because you'll be surprised at how much we are influenced by our environment, by social media, by TV, and by a lot of negative messages that we receive through TV. A lot of the time, we are not even conscious to it. It can be on the subconscious level all these negative messages that we receive. The other th reason why I do eradicated this was because time is something that you will never ever ever get back. Money you can re-earn, most resources you can kind of re-get them again, right? But time is something you will never ever get back. And some people like to spend hours and hours and hours and hours watching TV. Whereas for me, I would rather read a book because there's probably some more, there's a lot more that I could learn from that and grow as a person. And don't get me wrong, there's certain documentaries and things that I love to learn from on the television, but I think that feeding your mind and focusing on is this gonna feed my mind or is it gonna numb my mind and choosing what you allow to enter from your environment through TV, media, social media, you know, even cutting down on unfollowing certain people who have very negative messages on social media as well. And that's definitely a habit I've focused on over the last couple of years, is definitely kind of monitoring what environmental factors are influencing me. So I would love to know from you, what habits have you changed over the past few years in your life and business that have got you awesome results? Please do share in the comments below any awesome habits that you would like to share and help this community to adapt them as well. And make sure that you check out our free visualization tool right here on our YouTube channel at the banner at the top. There is a little link to the visualization tool where you can download it and start with that one and come back to the comments and let me know how you get on and what you experience. And if you found this video useful today, please hit the like button. Make sure that you subscribe so that you get notified when we drop a brand new video every Monday. Thank you for joining me today and to your success, I'll see you soon.